All right, this might be the shortest interview I've ever done in an ACC media event because Coach Hubert Davis has to be on TV shortly. But he's been to the Final Four as a player under Dean Smith, as an assistant coach under Roy Williams, and of course in 2022 as a head coach himself. Hubert Davis, welcome back to the David Glenn Good. Show. How are you doing? You're doing great. I'm doing well. Good. I've determined that you have the strangest resume in the history of young head coaches in college <laughs> basketball. How do you go from National Coach of the Year and NCAA runner-up, and as you say, a minute and 20-some seconds from yeah. a national title, yeah. to preseason number one and not even making the big dance? How do you process that as others dissect your resume from outside? Yeah, you know, uh, you know, uh, every year there's a reason for that season, and you know, going into a season, uh, the the number one thing and the only thing that I look at is 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 as a team, let's reach our full potential. And so the first year, I, I believe we did that. Uh, that. That was the only disappointment from last year. Wherever it was, I didn't feel like last year's team reached its full potential. Whether it's a sunny day, rainy day, windy day, I, I think the question on the floor is how do you respond and how do you react? And so how are we gonna respond and how are we gonna react after last season and putting ourselves in a position not to get back to the championship game, but to get back to let's reach our full potential as a team. When I first met you, I actually visited your home, interviewed your dad, yeah. wrote, wrote about your late mom, yeah. the old Carolina Court magazine. And back then, Coach Smith would talk about you as a player who got a lot better over four years, yeah. or even building a team over three or four years. Coach, you have to essentially microwave a basketball team, if that's even a concept, yeah. right? You say goodbye to nine players. Yeah. Can you microwave a team without the ability to build over three years or whatever yeah. around Armando Baycott and R.J. Davis? Well, uh, one, yes, and number two, you have to. That's where college basketball is right now. And so the, the transfer portal is real, NIL is real, the extra COVID year, there's one more year. and. Uh, this is college basketball. In terms of building and growth, building and growth doesn't have to take three to four years, but building and growth does have to take place. And the growth and the building that has taken place with this team where we have seven new players has taken place and it's been a beautiful process over the last five or six months. It's much different. Another thing that's different in college basketball now is like, you can work out, every, we're doing individual workouts, practices during the summer. When I played, you didn't see Coach Smith until October 15th. We've had so many practices, so many individual workouts, so much time together. That's the building part that's already done in the off season. College is different, there's no off season. It's on whether it's sunny, and it's on when it's cold outside. There are some X and O people who say you didn't have enough ball movement last year and you didn't have enough, as you use the phrase, makers, yeah, meaning yeah. some say shooters, you say makers last year. There are others who talk about it, even RJ and Armando mentioned more competitive edge, grit. So, so which is it? Is it more that sort of psychological stuff or is it more the good old fashioned execution stuff and skill sets? Well, I think it's a combination of, of, of all that. I mean, obviously you gotta have the ability to shoot the basketball and when you're last in ACC from three point shooting percentages, you're, you're not checking that box. Uh, when you're 14th in ACC and, and team assists, you're not checking that box as well. So those are things from a basketball standpoint that have to be addressed and have to be better also think you know in terms of like the discipline and the details and that's where it comes from you know and, and at times you can lose sight of that when you experience the praise and prosperity of getting to the championship game that you lose sight of and it could be just for a brief time of all the the little things that go into place to put yourself in a position to be successful and so you know, those are things that we're thinking about and addressing and, and ready to start this new year. There was a time when even a Michael Jordan would stay for three years at UNC. Those days are long, long gone. Uh, a lot of folks are excited about Elliot Cadeau, who seems to be more of a pure point guard, push yeah. the ball, distribute the ball, even though he can also score, obviously. Uh, how do you assess his role, best you know it, at this early stage? Well, I mean, not just him, but Zayden High, the other freshmen, uh, they've, um, they've been terrific. And um, I'm so thankful that they're here. And, um, you know, in regards to Elliott, he, he brings a, a giftedness that, you know, not just unique to our team, but unique in college basketball. His ability to make plays in the past, 
that normal people can't see is not normal. And also, one, the, the number one thing that I love about him, and there's many things, is like he gets more excited to pass the ball than he does to shoot it. He, he celebrates the success of his teammates, which is infectious in our locker room and obviously out there on the floor. They need you in TV land, so I'll okay, leave great. you with one question. Shortest interview I've ever done here, but that's okay, not your fault. Um, I know you're a man of great deep faith. Yeah. What else is on the list of things that you lean on, people, philosophies, or whatever, uh, during sort of the roller coaster that you've experienced these last two years? Well, I mean, life is a roller coaster. I, I just, there's sunny days and there's rainy days and there's windy days and there's clear sky days. And so, as I said before, you know, the, the question on the floor is how do you respond and how do you react when those days come? So, this is normal. And um, I'm just uh, enjoying being in this role and having the opportunity to, to impact these kids' lives and be able to help them reach all their individual dreams and goals. Hubert Davis on the David Glenn Show here at the ACC tip-off event in Charlotte.